Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Adam. You're watching Steady Invest. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about a strategy that I've been learning and implementing into my trading, and that is selling put options. And this is the first time I'm talking about options trading on the channel. And I know what you might be thinking. Options trading is too risky and complicated. And you have one thing right. It is complicated, but it doesn't need to be risky if you have a strategy in place and follow it. So I'm going to go into more depth as to how selling put options actually gives me a stream of income or worst case allows me to buy shares that I was going to buy anyway at a cheaper price. Uh, before I do, if you haven't already, smash that like button. It helps my videos get out there as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. All right. When you're trading options, you're actually trading financial contracts that give the owner of that contract the right or option, that's why it's called options, to buy or sell a particular stock at a particular price, also known as the strike price. Each contract entitles the owner to 100 shares of the underlying stock upon expiration. And yes, these contracts expire, meaning when you're buying an option, time is not on your side and you're hoping the underlying stock moves in a favorable direction sooner rather than later. So a call option is purchased when an investor is bullish or they think that a stock price is going to be going up. Uh, and it allows them to buy uh, a share at a specific price or the strike price and vice versa. A put option is purchased when an investor is bearish or they think the price is going to be going down and it allows them to sell uh, at their given strike price as well. So in order to buy an options contract, you need to pay a premium and whatever that premium is, you have to pay a hundred times because there's a hundred shares per contract. So if the premium is, let's say a dollar, you need to pay a hundred dollars in order to buy that contract that gives you the right to buy or sell whatever stock at whatever price before expiration. And there are two main factors that determine the value of the premium. Number one would be intrinsic value, which is the current share price relative to the strike price. And the second being extrinsic value, which is the amount of time relative to the expiration. There are some other micro factors as well that can determine the value of the premium, such as how volatile a stock is, also known as implied volatility. The higher the implied volatility, the higher the premium is going to be. Now, every day your options contract gets closer and closer to expiration, the less value it's going to be holding because it has less chance of reaching the strike price. I guess you could call me a boomer. I like to own shares the traditional way. Sorry, Wall Street bets. Now, given all this information, I'm still going to tell you guys why I think selling put options could be an extremely valuable strategy you could implement into your portfolio. So when you're trading, whether it's shares or options contracts, whether you're buying or you're selling, there's always someone on the other side of that trade. So if you're buying stock, they're selling it to you. If you're selling stock, they're buying it from you. And when you're buying an options contract, you're paying a premium, meaning the person selling you that contract is collecting that premium. That would be me. So when you sell put options, the idea behind it is that if the share price never goes below the strike price upon expiration, you get to keep the entire premium in your pocket, no questions asked, because the contract is expiring worthless. All right, so what happens when the opposite occurs and then you're below the strike price and you're in the money? it means that you're assigned 100 shares of that stock at the strike price. And the way I'm playing this strategy is I'm only selling puts on stock that I'm comfortable owning 100 shares of. Because whichever stock I'm selling puts on, I was going to buy that stock either way. Why not collect premium to help subsidize the cost of those shares? Or it never dips and I collect the full premium. Dividends on steroids. Because when you have a well thought out plan or strategy, no matter what the share price is upon expiration, you know what you're going to do and how you're going to execute. And the real risk of selling a put is if the underlying stock goes to zero or bankrupt. But if you were going to buy shares either way, you'd be in trouble whether you sold puts or didn't. Another real risk is make sure you have enough cash to cover those 100 shares of whatever stock you were selling puts on. Because if it does reach the strike price and is in the money upon expiration, you're expected to pony up the cash for 100 shares. And what I like about this strategy is you don't have to be right about where the stock price is going, whether it goes up, stays the same or goes down. You're happy either way because either you're going to buy those shares at a lower price or you get to collect a full premium. Think of it from this standpoint. You're a casino or a bookie and the people that are buying these options contracts off of you are taking bets whether they think the price is going up or whether they think it's going down. And what do we know about the business models of casinos? They make a lot more money than they lose. All right, so here's an example of a put option I sold a couple weeks ago. It's Tattoo Chef, ticker symbol TTCF. Uh, I sold one put option, expiry date February 19th, at a strike price of $25. And at the time, uh, when I sold it, the price, uh, the bid was $381. So up front, I got $381 uh, when I sold the put option a couple weeks ago. And right now, we can't see the bid in the ass because the market's closed right now. 
But if you go to Yahoo Finance and then you go to Options, you scroll down to Puts, and we see the 25 strike price. Right now the bid is 260 and the ask is 280. So let's say for whatever reason I want to cover my position and buy back the put option. So as of tomorrow, because the market's closed right now, uh, right now the price is 25.28. So I would have made about $100, and that makes sense, right? Because if the ask is 280 and uh, the price I sold it for was 381, uh, the difference is one again times 100 to make $100. So roughly $100. And the difference between this green line and this purple line is a green line is showing you upon expiration your profit loss. Whereas this purple one, you can change it uh, and see how much you would make or lose every day. And then you can see, remember, because time is on your side, the closer we get to expiration, the more and more uh, we make. And then the person that bought that option is losing because remember, time is on our side, not theirs. And then we, the closer we get, the more profit we make and then the less they are. So when I sold the put option a couple of weeks ago, I essentially told myself I'm comfortable owning 100 shares of Tattooed Chef at a strike price of 25. And to do some quick math with you guys, so 25 times 100, so I'd be paying 2,500 for the shares, right? Minus the premium, which is 381, and then divide that by 100. That would be my cost basis. That would be my cost basis after taking into account the premium subsidizing the original amount on those shares. And you can see on the graph, we break even right at that 21.19 mark. And then anything below that is just the shares themselves depreciating. But if you're long-term bullish, you're buying on the dip anyway. And that's why I'm a fan of selling puts and how it fits my strategy from my portfolio. Because again, I keep cash on the side anyway for dips. I might as well put that cash to use and use it as collateral by selling puts. And as always, make sure you do your full due diligence and research before doing any trading and putting your hard-earned money to work. Anyway, that's the end of my video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, smash that like button. It helps my videos get out there as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.